my name is Kita and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I did um, get quite a few things. It did take me, um, I'll be honest, probably about three trips to even get enough stuff accumulated so that way I can go ahead and do this haul. I did try to separate my haul by um, category a little bit um, or as best as I could so that way I could um, go over these items with you guys. Um, as usual, at the Dollar Tree, I like to look for items that are brand name brands. Um, so a lot of the things that you'll see me get are going to be things that are name brand or I like to find um, little um, like surprise finds at Dollar Tree, which would be um, the name brand items, um, food items that come in the family size or the regular size um, boxes or packaging. Um, another thing that I do get excited about, obviously, are things like the egglets that you um, that are advertised as seen on TV, because I know that those typically sell from anywhere between nine dollars minimum to. Um, up to probably like $19.99, a couple of things that I have found in Dollar Tree. So um, this is just an overview of everything that I have got. So let's go ahead and get into the Dollar Tree haul. All right, so first off, we're going to go ahead and start with our household items. Um, first, I got one package of the Sparkle Paper Towels. Um, I'm a big fan of the Sparkle Paper Towels. There's different brands that you can choose from at Dollar Tree. Um, including the, um, I believe that it's the basic bount, bount, um, I don't know, <laughs> bounty basic, I believe is what it is, but, um, the sparkle to me is a lot thicker, so I like to use those. We did, um, run out of toilet paper in my boy's bathroom downstairs, so I went ahead and just picked up one four pack of Scott toilet paper rolls. Um, until I can make it to um, Costco, or not Costco, <clears throat> Sam's, because that's the membership that I have. Until I can make it to Sam's or to Walmart to get a bigger package for the whole house. But for right now, I just picked up the Scott for the boys' bathroom downstairs. Um, another thing that I always get is going to be the fresh linen um, liquid potpourri is what it's called. I know that a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I use those in my diffusers. So um, it makes my house smell really good, and it makes it smell just like clean linen. Um, people think that I'm doing laundry all the time, but I'm not. My house is just smelling lovely. The other thing that I got is one thing of Gain Original Scent um, Fabric Softener. I did get this as another type of like air freshener type thing. Um... But I don't think that I'm actually going to use that. That didn't work out as well as I thought that it was going to. Another thing that I got for the house is going to be the Arm & Hammer Extra Strength Carpet Odor Eliminator. This works fantastic. Now, I know that some of these things um, I can get at Walmart, and these are probably like $0.94. Cents, but since I was already at Dollar Tree, I decided to go ahead and pick this up. And then I went ahead and got one package of the foil sheets, which it contains 25 sheets, which is a really good deal. Again, Reynolds Wrap um, is a brand name. So <clears throat> another um, plus to buying things that are name brand is that if you're scanning your receipt for Ibotta or for Fetch, um, you are still going to get cash back or you're still going to get your points back for these items. So, I mean, each item is only a dollar, so if you're getting anything back on them, um, it makes it even an even more awesome deal. So, um, then, moving on, that's everything that we had got for, like, cleaning household type thing, I guess you could say. Um, then moving on to more, like, personal use, personal care. Um, this I did get for my car, and... I used to see these all the time, the steering wheel cover, and I didn't think that they were going to be really good. I thought that maybe, um, I don't know, that it wasn't going to be sufficient enough. But I did get one of these before, and I really, really liked it. It fit my steering wheel perfectly fine. Um, the only thing is after having it probably, I want to say, five months, um, the elastic part did start to get a little... Um, 
loose. So it did start falling off of the steering wheel, but for a dollar and it lasts five months and then I just go to the Dollar Tree and buy another one, um, I think that's fine. So um, if you haven't used these and you're looking for some type of steering wheel cover so that way in the summertime your steering wheel is not extra hot or in the wintertime it's not super cold, um, making your hands cold through your gloves, things like that, um, definitely stop at Dollar Tree and get one of these steering wheel covers because they work. Another thing that I got, and this is something that I'm really excited about, and this is this would be like the name brand things that they're selling in full size um, packaging. So the Old Spice deodorant, which is in the the Denali scent, um, I picked one of these up. I do have two boys, but I only picked one up because my oldest was here, um, and then my youngest he has really sensitive skin, so sometimes he can use certain things and sometimes he can't so it just depends um the other thing that I found were going to be these Old Spice um, body sprays and these are in the Wolf Thorn scent um both scents the Denali and the Wolf Thorn smell really good I remember getting these body sprays and the um deodorant actually a while ago like two years ago probably couponing and still could not get them down to just one dollar so finding them full price no coupon for one dollar um was pretty exciting to me so i went ahead and picked two of those up one for each boy another thing is these crest scope um mini toothbrushes uh, mini brush and then it has the little floss on the end of it so I like these, I do smoke. So um, I used to like to keep these in my purse quite often. I have not found these um, in the Dollar Tree for quite some time. So when I did find them, I was so excited, but I did only pick up one. So hopefully I'll find another store um, that has these so I can stock up because not every Dollar Tree sells the same items. And when they do have certain items, once they're sold out, then most likely that's the end of that. So another thing that I was excited about were going to be these um, notebooks. And to my surprise, they are a lot smaller than what I had anticipated. But that's okay because these can fit into my purse. But I like the notebooks. I'm a stationary junkie. I like pens, um, post-it notes, paper clips, notebooks. I'm not really a fan of pencils, um, just, I don't know, I just don't like the way that they write, but um, everything else. So these notebooks, I tend to always pick up a notebook when I'm at Dollar Tree, and I like these ones the best because they have the spiral here, so they flip really easy. Um, they do have the lined paper inside, and they do have quite a bit of paper, so this should last me a little bit of um, time. Just writing down my um, grocery list, my coupon hauls, um, daily to-do list, things like that. So I got one that says hustle. The top part is actually cut out and then the second page is what is going to be the design. So I got the first one that says hustle and then the second one that says goals. And this one is more like a just green and white here. And then the other one had all of the different rain or all the different colors, more tropical looking. <clears throat> So moving on to household items, things that we would use in the house, little kitchen gadgets, um, things like that. One staple when I go to Dollar Tree every single time, I pick up the set of tea light candles. I use these everywhere in my house. We have the oil burners that you put the candle in the middle. Um, I believe that we got from Dollar Tree. So um, those work fantastic as far as smelling getting your house smelling really good um now the scented cubes that you use um it just kind of depends i use mine from walmart i get them from dollar general because i had a whole bunch that i got last year on sale so um these are definitely a necessity in our house for me to be able to keep it smelling good the other thing i was super excited about this candle it's called cozy flannel and to me, it's um, made by Old Williamsburg, so you know that it's a really good candle. The glass that it's in is super thick, 
So you can use this after it's um, already burnt and done with. You can use this for like to put your earrings in or maybe cotton balls in the bathroom, whatever you like to use it for. So um, I do like Dollar Tree candles because they are um, good for that. Once you are done burning them, the containers that they're in, you can definitely use them for something else. So this specific candle reminded me of a Bath and Body Works candle called Fireside. And it smells to me just like roasted marshmallows or like a campfire. Uh, and it smells so good. Um, so definitely good for the fall or the winter time. Um, I went ahead and picked up two. I don't think that they have very many. They probably have like four, which I probably should have got all of them. But I only picked up two this time. So hopefully when I go back, they have more. And because I only picked up two, I'm kind of scared to even um, light it. Like, I don't want to light it yet. I want to save the scent for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, the next thing was just this little kitchen gadget thing. Um, sometimes the kitchen gadgets get me. But this is just a clean caddy. Um, you hook this onto the side of your sink, and then you go ahead and then just place your sponge in here. It has all of the little suction. Um things on the bottom so it'll stick securely and tightly to your um, sink it just sticks like kind of hangs over the edge like it shows in the picture there another thing that I thought was pretty neat that I don't know I probably seen it at Dollar Tree before but I never picked it up never really had the need but the outlets in my house for some reason um I don't know they're not the best um, and I needed some more. So I went ahead and just got this to use upstairs in my bedroom. Um, so you plug it into both of the outlets. So it takes up the whole thing, but then you get an extra four, um, plugins. So I thought that was a pretty, um, neat thing to get for just a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed just one. If it is good, if it does stay in my, um, outlets in the wall then I will probably go ahead and get some more probably one for like the kitchen um, where the air fryer and stuff is at so <clears throat> then I went ahead and got this little um, storage container here for the berries um, I don't I'm am, I am doing keto so I don't eat too many berries but I do like strawberries so this is just to go ahead and wash and store this is supposed to keep your um, berries cleaner or cleaner and fresher for longer so I went ahead and got this. My kitchen's kind of that till color, so we went with that little color there. The other thing is I did go ahead and pick up two, a set of two of the Surefresh uh, reusable round containers that also come with two lids or twist, of, twist top lids. Focus. So um, I went ahead and picked these up. Nicole Burgess is always raving about how she stores her um, boiled eggs in this, and they last for six days. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so that way I can store my boiled eggs in this. The other thing that I got, um, which I was excited about, they did have these a long time ago. And these are just the containers that, um, hold your eggs. It holds one dozen eggs. The lid comes off. And so I did go ahead and get one of those for a dollar. Um, I do have one other one that I have in my kitchen. It was from the container store, and I think it was on sale at the container store, and I still think that it was like $8.99. So um, getting that at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar was a fantastic deal, I thought, in my eyes. Even though the container is a little bit different, obviously this one is cheaper plastic, and the plastic is like cloudier. Um but essentially it does the same thing. You can store them together. This is flat so you can stack them on top of each other. So I went ahead and picked one up. <clears throat> now moving over here to the last section of things that I got. And these are going to be um, food items. This is another little kitchen gadget that I got. It's the egglets. You, um, it comes in a set of four. You crack the egg. Then you put the little things in the water to boil. So you still have to boil them. When I was looking at it, I was like, oh, but you still have to boil it. So I don't really know, you know, like, what's all the hype? Are you, what steps are we cutting out? So we are cutting out the step to break and crack and peel that shell off of the egg. So I went ahead and decided, okay, 
it's a four pack, so we'll see how it um, fares the first time. So I went ahead and got that for a dollar. Um, the store did have quite a bit, as you will be able to see. And then I was excited because, of course, I'm always excited to find name brand items. Um, these are not the full size um, packaging. This is only 3.5 ounces, but it is the Tyson Anytizer chicken fries. So I figure if I just get some of these, then um, <clears throat> my son can put these in the air fryer and he can make himself a little snack when he gets home from school or on the weekends or whatever, whenever he wants. Um, and then the other thing was the Anytizer, Tyson's Anytizer's chicken chips. So these are new. Uh, we have actually not tried these at all. So I'm kind of glad that they are in the little packaging. Um, and then, like I said, it says on the top right here that you can put them in the microwave, microwave safe pouch, but we prefer ours like in the oven or air fryer or something like that. So that way that makes them a little bit more crispy. So we're excited to try those. Another thing that I found in the freezer section, which um, this was new to me at my Dollar Tree, and then also the lady, she was excited because she didn't, she hadn't seen them either, the lady that works there. So these are Jimmy Dean stuffed hash browns, and they're stuffed with sausage and gravy. So um, I thought that these would be, this would be good for my son to try out as well. So I went ahead and just picked up one. If we're trying stuff out, I'm only going to pick up one. I, even though they're a dollar, I don't want to pick up multiple of them just because if they're not good, then it's just going to sit there. My kids and myself, we are extremely picky. So if we don't like something, we are just not going to eat it at all. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I got was going to be this minced garlic. I see this in everybody's haul. I did not. Um, obviously, we were not going to Costco or I'm sorry, we're not going to Sam's anytime soon. So I went ahead and got the little jar of the minced garlic. Use that for your cooking. Um, the Nor cheddar broccoli rice. Um, I did go ahead and pick this up. Again, this is another item that you can probably get at Walmart for about 97 cents or so. But since we were at Dollar Tree, I went ahead and picked it up and it's name brand. I did also get rewards back with Fetch um, for that item. So that worked out okay. The other food item that I got was one can of green giant french style green beans french style is our family's favorite i'm not too big of a fan on the cut style of green beans um but again this is going to be the name brand so i was excited to get those most of the time their vegetables are 79 cents as i'm recording this video i don't even know if i paid a dollar or 79 cents for the green beans so again that's another item that you can get cheaper at walmart most likely but i was at dollar tree so i grabbed it and then the very last item that we got to wrap up the um, video is going to be this new case of water that I seen. Of course, it was by the Nestle Waters and things like that. And the Nestle, you get a pack of six, and it's just a little small um, bottles. Um, this is a pack of 12, and it's called the Niagara Sparkling Water. It is the grapefruit flavor, but it does show that there's zero calories, zero sweeteners, and no artificial flavors. Um, you do get a set of 12, and they are 12 full ounces each. So I thought that that was a pretty good um, deal. I am trying to wean myself off of um, coffee in the morning because on my keto journey, um, I can't have sugar and, like, all the creamers and syrups and all that stuff, so... Um, I'm trying to just completely do away with coffee. Um, so I figured that, eh, let's try something new with the waters. So with what I got, very satisfied. Um, if you guys have tried the Niagara water, definitely comment below. Let me know if you like them. Also with the chicken chips, because we haven't tried those. So let me know what your thoughts are on that item as well. Um, because we still have not eaten them. And then there was something else that I wanted to ask you guys about, but I don't remember. Well, I do want to thank you for watching my Dollar Tree haul today. Um, please make sure that you subscribe to the video. I will be doing a Dollar Tree haul once a week, rather it takes me two, three, four times to get enough um, items accumulated for my video. It's still going to go up once a week, so you will see me every 
Tuesday for Dollar Tree Tuesday hauls. Again, my name was Kita, and make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can start getting my videos as they come out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.